Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video on a question I received in the comments recently. Uh, the question was, how can I scrape uh, reviews from places on Google Maps? I didn't have a good answer for this, so I did some research and I found a scraper tool that does exactly this. And in this video, I'm going to show you which tool it is and how to use it. So the tool I'm using is called Appify. Appify is a web scraping solution that offers a collection of many different web scrapers uh, for all kinds of different use cases. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna sign up for a free trial. They actually offer uh, a free plan with quite a lot of resources so you can test it out. And once you have your account with Appify, all you have to do is go here on the store uh, and search for Google Maps reviews. And this will pull up the Google Maps reviews scraper. This is the one I'm using. As you can see, there's quite a lot of different ones, but uh, this is the one I tested and it works great. And uh, all you have to do to use it is just click on go to actor. So this will create a new actor or in other words, a new instance of this uh, solution. And here you get the form that you need to fill out and provide the information uh, for the places that you want to scrape on Google Maps. So what you need to provide here is a URL of the place that you want to scrape. So you would go on Google Maps, you will find a place on the maps that you want to scrape. Let's say this one here, or let's say, let's go to this one. I'm going to go to reviews and then I'm going to copy the URL in the search bar. Uh, I'm going to go back to Appify and I'm going to paste the URL right there. I can add multiple. So if I want to scrape the reviews of multiple places, I can add multiple URLs. So let's say I want to do this one too. There we go. And then you can also provide a text file. Uh, so if you have a text file with all the URLs that you want to uh, scrape the reviews of, uh, you can provide a text file directly. Um, if you want to, uh, I'm thinking of um, a use case where someone might want to uh, scrape the reviews of multiple places in a specific location of a city. That will be a little bit more complex. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I, I can do a video on how to achieve that as well. Uh, but for this example, I'm just gonna stick to a few static URLs here that I get from Google Maps. And um, here I'm gonna select the number of reviews that I want to scrape from each place. So let's say I wanna do 10 for each place. I'm gonna leave that as 10. And here I can sort by newest, most relevant, highest ranking, lowest ranking. So this is basically the same option that you get here on the on the reviews card. So I can sort by most relevant, newest, highest rating, lowest rating, and so on. Um, I'm gonna do, let's do highest rating for this example. Highest ranking. Um, only scrape reviews newer than a specific date. So if you don't wanna scrape old reviews, uh, you can set a date. So let's say I only want to get the highest reviews since March, 2013. I'm gonna put that date there. For language, I'm gonna keep it as English. Personal data, so this is a selection where you can specify whether you want to uh, scrape the information of the person that has uh, reviewed the, the restaurant. So uh, this is basically their information right there. Uh, if you need to do that, then you keep this on. If you don't want that data, then you switch this off. Uh, I'm going to switch it off for this example. And then here you have some running options. So if you're if you're planning on scraping a lot of reviews from many different places, you might want to uh, experiment with these options to optimize the performance of the scraper. For this example, though, I'm just going to leave that as it is. And then I'm going to click save and start. So this now will launch this actor, this scraper. And as you can see, the actor is getting data. I'm going to leave it run for a while. And there we go. So within 10 seconds, it managed to retrieve 10 reviews from one place. We can see the, the restaurant name, so the place title uh, on this column here. So these are the reviews of the first one, and then these are the reviews of the second one. 
Uh, we also get the review text, the stars, the reviewer. Uh, we don't get that because I deselected the personal information. Uh, the review link, uh, that's also not there. I'm not sure why that's not there. Um, and the place Google Maps link. So if I go here, that should take me to the place card on Google Maps. There we go. Um, I'm wondering if I switch the... Let me go back to the actor and switch the personal data on if that's going to get the review URL. Because it's quite strange that that's not there. Okay, so now it got the reviewer's name. Okay, that's expected. But it also got the review link. So for some reason, this is considered uh, personal data. So if you want the link that takes you to the actual review, uh, on the on the reviews card, then make sure to select the personal data option on the actor. Uh, so this is the information we get back. Now from here, I have a few options on what I can do with this data. So first of all, I can export it. So I click here to export the 20 results. I can export to JSON, to CSV, to Excel. Uh, if you want to, let's say, upload it to a Google Sheet, you would export to CSV file. Uh, I would select to include all the fields. Uh, I will download that CSV file and then I will go to uh, Google Sheets, create a new spreadsheet, go to import, upload that file, and here's all the data. What you can also do is use the integration feature of Appify to send this data automatically to another destination. So for example, if you want to send it, let's see, uh, if you want to upload the results to, to Google Drive, you can do that. If you want to send them to uh, your email or to someone else's email, uh, you can do that. Um, you can send a Slack notification that contains the results. So there's a bunch of different things you can do with this integrations feature here to automatically send the data somewhere else. Um, so yeah, that's an option as well. Uh, so yeah, that's an overview of this solution. If you have any questions or any suggestions on how you want to extend this workflow, or if you want me to do a video on some other topic, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, I will do my best to help you. So yeah, with that said, I hope you found this useful and I'm going to see you on the next one.